What's up team? Coach Taj here from Eat the Frog Scripts here in San Diego, California. And I'm here because today is day five of our 31 day 100 rep challenge. That's for a dia cinco, you know what I'm saying? And we're gonna burn off all them Pringles, you know what I'm saying? So today, we're gonna be focusing on the lower body. I know, if you're feeling like me, your shoulders, your chest, your triceps, just your arms, everything in general up top is on fuego because of those plank push-ups. But today, we're hitting lower body and we're gonna be doing reverse lunges. That's right, we're gonna take the plunge with the lunge. Now, I'm gonna show you the options, the challenges, and just the good old fashioned reverse lunge. And we're gonna knock out these 100 reps and give that up top a breather and turn up the heat down low, you know what I'm saying? So, with a reverse lunge, you want to start, give yourself enough space to take a nice long step back, but you want to start like you have a regular stance. Ideally, you want to pretend like you're on train track. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my feet directly under my hips. I'm going to really tighten my core because you want to make sure your abs are super contracted and active while you are doing this movement the entire time. You want to keep your eyes up. You want to keep your chest up and keep good posture. So, really keep those shoulders rolled back. Now, you're gonna take a long step back, like I mentioned, like you're on a train track. Then you're gonna drop the back knee straight down. Now notice, I'm not going all the way to the ground. We don't wanna sit our knee on the ground just like this. We actually wanna stop our knee about an inch off the floor. Now, notice my front knee. It's not past my front toe. I'm not leaning and falling forward. That's why our abs are super contracted. Our chest is high. The back knee is down and we create two very nice 90 degree bends in each knee. Now that front knee ideally is directly over the ankle. Once again, you want to see a nice 90 degree bend here, but you want to keep your joint stacked. So once again, keeping that front knee behind that front toe, ideally right above the ankle, dropping that back knee about an inch off the ground, and then just powering back up. Now with these lunges, our goal is alternating reverse lunges. That's going to give you an opportunity to give that one leg a break and just drop that back knee down. So now I'm going to send my other leg back. Drop my back knee, once again, inch off the ground. Front knee is directly over that front ankle, and I'm noticing that my knee, I should be able to see down and see my toes if I was to look forward. But once again, we want to keep our chest up. Ideally, we have a straight line from the crown of our head down to that knee that is just above the ground. And then you're driving through that front foot. Whatever leg is up front, you're powering through that leg to power yourself back up. Think less about actually driving through the foot that's in the back and think more about powering through that front foot that's completely planted. Now notice, I don't have shoes on. This is gonna be a great opportunity for you to see that when I step back, I'm not straight-legged, but I'm also really bending, look at that, through my feet. I'm mobilizing the feet. I'm really bending through those toes, and I'm elongating the bottom of that foot. Now, you gotta understand that when it comes to your big toe, all your propulsion, all your powering, your explosive movements, all derive from the ligament under the big toe. So you want to really start to really think about, am I mobilizing my feet? That's why I wear Vivo bare feet. I wear minimalist shoes. Reason being, I want to be able to allow my foot to really mobilize. So it's something to think about. When you're doing these lunges, you should feel that bend in that back foot, specifically that big toe. Now, if you're having a difficulty, let's say with the coordination, with the balance on the lunges, Guess what you can do for an option? A static lunge. So you'll just take a long step back. You're gonna keep that chest up, core tight. Once again, it's like you're on train tracks. You're gonna keep the eyes up and you're just gonna go straight down and then straight back up. Now notice I'm not going full extension. I'm not locking out my front knee. I'm keeping that front knee slightly bent, but I'm popping up as high as I can on those uh, back toes. Slowly down, about an inch off the ground. And then I'm powering back up. Now this is something to pick up that's really important. Notice my arms. Whatever leg is in front, as I drop down, the opposite hand is coming up. I like to mimic a running or a walking motion. Reason being, that's a counterbalance. That hand, it's counterbalancing that opposite leg, and it's gonna help you be more efficient. Now, 100 reps is a lot, and a static lunge, although it will give you more balance, it could be more challenging on that thigh because you're isolating a leg basically the entire time. So we're gonna be doing 50 on each side, so maybe you'll break it up. Maybe we'll do five static lunges on one side, and then switch, and then do five static lunges on the other. Now another option, if you really want to take it to another level, maybe grab something, like a, like a doorway or a wall. Get into that static lunge, and you can use that to help hold you up. 
Not only is it going to hold you accountable like myself, <laughs> but it's going to hold you up just like a good friend. You know what I'm saying? So you want to make sure that you're gripping it. Let's say you do five on one leg, now you're doing five on the other. Once again, still keeping those joints stacked, still keeping that chest up. Then when you feel comfortable, maybe you take the hand off and then come up and grab the wall. So these are great options that you can use. Now, if you're like Taja Guy, I'm a lunge master. I'm a lunge king, queen. I'm killing it. I want the challenge. All right, well, guess what? You're going to turn it into a knee drive. So you're going to take a long step back, drive the knee up, plant the foot, and then switch. Or if you really want to go challenge, challenge, you're going to stay with that single leg, and you're just going to drive that knee up the entire time. Now, if you want to take the plyometric aspect out of it but still have a challenge, you can add a weight. Let's say you put a bar. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I got a bike pump. But hey, pretend like this is a bar, right? I got a bar. I got weight on my back. Boom, just step it back. But if you want to make it even more challenging on the core, maybe you're front racking the weight. So pretend like this is a weight bar, and I'm front racking my weight, forcing my core to really have to stabilize. So you really got to uh, lock those ribs down and hold that weight here. Or if you want to take it a whole nother level, overhead hold on the lunge. So you literally hold the bar overhead and then step back from there. That's literally, I just gave you four different challenges a couple of different options and different ways that you can maximize, strategize, and prioritize while you're doing these lunges. Now, once again, I can't reiterate enough, just going from the body weight perspective, we want to make sure our chest is up. So as we're going, you should always be able to see what's in front of you. That front knee is always in line with those toes. It's always behind those toes. And that back knee is always just off the ground because you're using your body to absorb the weight. We don't want to boom, drop that knee and then it potentially bruise or hurt that kneecap. We want to protect those joints and use the muscles to make those gains and to make these things happen. All right. So once again, you're going to do 50 on each leg, alternating to hundred total. It's going to give you an upper body breather and we're going to turn it up on the legs like a heater. You know what I'm saying? So once again, go get after it, whether it's an option or a challenge, do what you got to do for you and you can alternate. Let's say you're doing just like we're doing with the legs. Alternate, let's say you bust out a couple challenges. Whew, you're like, oh man, I gotta turn it down. Then you just do the regular lunges, and let's say you're like the last few, you're like, oh man, I need, a, I need help. Give me that static. <laughs> I create that static. <laughs> and the gains are gonna be tragic because people are gonna cry when they see you because they're gonna be like, how can I beat you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So anyway, Coach Times Rocket, let me know if you got any questions. I'll be here for you, but hey, my mat's out. Hey, that's right. It's time to get these gains. Let's get on the chain with the gains. Choo-choo. You know how to say it. Let's go, y'all.